Hello everyone and welcome back to the Labarkatory Challenge and today we are back with more wolves! Did you guys really think we were done with wolves yet? Of course not! Wolf Quest 3 is still going on with its new early access release and we have been enjoying the adventures of Crow, Silver, and Lily, the golden wolf part of the Ardon Pack legacy for quite a few days now. I am so amazed at how much you guys have loved our wolf pack return and I look forward to seeing the many generations of puppies they will be having, including the puppies that we are going to be having today in the Labarkatory. And I'm really looking forward to this mix, you guys. We actually created Lily. She was born in our Wolf Quest 2.7 series, and we created her in a live stream together, making her a beautiful golden wolf with dark green eyes. Unfortunately, I can't make her eyes dark green in The Sims 4. Somebody please remind me later that while we may have plenty of demon eyes to go around, I should probably try getting some more normal colored eyes for our dogs and cats as well, because I would love to see some variation there. But we have some light green eyes, she's just got a little bit of light green going on, and she is a beautiful golden wolf who reminds us a lot of her mother Dawn. But while we were crafting her in Wolf Quest 3 and tweaking her tail and her ears and basically everything about her, we actually ended up making her look kind of like a sheep. Kind of like a Shiba Inu, you might say. And even though she is not nearly as tiny as this little one, it was hilarious how similar in build she really looked to a Shiba Inu when we were making her in Wolf Quest 3. And thus the realization was born that we needed to see what would it look like if Lily, our red wolf, uh, well, kind of like a gray wolf who's golden, Basically just a wolf, but if Lily are wolf from the Dawn Pack, and if Kiwi, a Shiba Inu, ended up having puppies, uh, I have to know, I have to know, because she sincerely looks like a sheep. Like, if you haven't seen it, go back to the live episode we did of Wolf Quest 3 and check it out. We were laughing so hard at just how much she looked like a Shiba Inu. But now that we actually have her in here with like one of the top meme dogs of all time, I don't know, there's actually a lot of differences in variation, especially with size, the twirly diddly doo tail. We've got this really cute little face and muzzle. I think that the resulting puppies between them could be quite intriguing to see indeed. And Lily, for those of you guys who don't know, is actually quite confident in herself. She really has quite a bit of sass and likes that she looks so lovely. So I could totally see her perhaps having a litter of puppies with a, a pretty friendly Shiba Inu who when she wanders by wherever their owner happens to have a home near the forest. So thank you very much to Kiwi for your sweet comment in the previous episode of our Wolf Quest and Tiger Cubs or so Wolf and Tiger Cubs that we had. I hope you are excited to become Kiwi! I mean just look at how cute this little one is! One of my friends growing up in high school had a Shiba Inu like back before they were super popular and I just remember being perpetually shocked by how cute the dog was every time I went over but it was also very loud. I also learned that they can be they can be feisty so I wonder if this little sheep will actually be providing a lot of feistiness into our Pax legacy. So all right, Kiwi, you are proudly patrolling your territory. The forest that you happen to live next to has always been a source of curiosity, a little bit of discomfort. One time you swear a raccoon the size of a bear wandered out and started to eat your dog food, but normally you're able to patrol the edges and keep everything as it should be in your realm. Little did you know that one sunny afternoon, a beautiful golden wolf would come through the bushes and relax down by your master's pool. It was love at first sight when your eyes met. Her beautiful golden fur, your beautiful golden fur. How could the two of you possibly resist one another? Ah, it was fate. But all right, so let's go ahead and start seeing what these guys' puppies are going to look like. And as always, we are going to be using your guys' names from the previous episodes. So go ahead and leave your names, just like a comment, anything down in the comment section, and I will load it up into our random comments generator for next time. But let's do this. All right, Lily, let's have some beautiful golden little puppies. <gasps> Like that one! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Not the puppy we are looking for, but so cute. What do you guys think? What do you think out of this? Oh, well, 
That's not the puppy I was looking for. But you know what? You look a little a lot like a wolf, so I totally approve of that. So welcome to Giovanni. Welcome, little one. It's gonna be really interesting to see how many of these puppies end up being small, small and barky. Oh, and by the way, uh, Kiwi here is actually a playful glutton who's energetic. So I just love the idea that he like runs back and forth, back and forth along his big giant yard and is like constantly patrolling it. And maybe when he runs by the pool, he gets a glimpse of his golden fur. And that's why he had a soft spot for when Lily popped over. But I think they'd be a little shocked to take, like in their eyes, gold plus gold equals more gold. And instead we ended up with a oh, really a sweet looking little pup. Look at her. Giovanni, thank you so much. I'm glad that you enjoyed our tiger wolves from last time. You cannot have like give us wolves, so let's reroll. You are a jumpy, playful, stubborn little pup who's soon going to have quite a few siblings. So let me go ahead and grab the next name. And let's see. Will we have another golden child? You look like your dad! Oh, and you've got a little twirly do tail! Oh, this is so cute! I wonder what this guy's gonna look like. This is actually Tucker. So we have Tucker right here. Thank you very much for leaving such a sweet comment, Tucker. And I have heard a lot of, of stories about the Yellowstone wolves, but I don't actually know a lot of them off the back of my hand, like uh, like you asked in your comment. I will be getting some books, some very updated books on wolf ecology pretty soon to kind of do some research and make sure that I am providing the most relevant facts to all of you about the wonderful wildlife of wolves. And then we have, Tucker is a sleuth who is loyal and a hunter. <gasps> that sounds like a little pack puppy, if you ask me. Oh my gosh. And look, we're going to have sheep coloring. But is Tucker going to be small or big? Hmm. Those paws make me think that you're going to turn into a large puppy, Tucker. But we'll have to see. All right. Next up, we've got... <gasps> She's so pretty! Oh my goodness! Let me get the name to see who this is going to be. There we go. And this is going to be Karma. So thank you, Kirsten, for your sweet comment. I'm so glad that you enjoy all of the mixes. Uh, a Pitbull Mastiff mix would be cool to see in the future. So Karma is named after your Pitbull Mastiff mix. That has to be quite the, like... I almost said chunky, but not really chunky, just kind of like a brick wall of a dog to see. So we might have to do some pit bulls and mastiffs in the future. You cannot give us wool, my dear. That's a custom content uh, trait. Let's try again. So you are adventurous, aggressive, and smart. And that sounds like that's a good inclusion into our wolf pack, if you ask me. And look at those eyes. <gasps> look at those ears. Oh my gosh. And the twirly do tail. Are we going to have a wolf with twirly do tails? Because that would be amazing. Next up, will it be a golden puppy? Will it, oh, well, that's a golden puppy, but not the golden puppy that we are looking for. Let's get the new name. And... <gasps> Orange eyes! That's a twist on the usual demon eye edition. And I really... Oh my gosh. I think we're going to end up with a bunch of sheep wolves. Are we really going to end up with a sheep colored wolf? Because that would be really, really cool. All right, let's see. But this is actually Vanessa. So welcome, Vanessa. Very excited to have you come and join us. You are a hairy, jumpy, adventurous young wolf with beautiful orange eyes. And you may not have the golden coloring that uh, your mom and dad are really looking for. Well, they, I mean, dad's golden coloring. It doesn't ripple like actual gold in the sun the way that Lily does, but we're we're having oh I like that puppy. We're having a lot of fun pups. Oh hey. Huh. Did not expect this one either. Did not expect this one either. So Camo. Camo Wildlife Gamer, thank you very much. I'm like I'm glad you like the name Wigers. I think Wigers for Wolf Tigers just sounds really cool. Uh, and Tolfs also sounded fun, but Wigers just rolls off the tongue better. Uh, so Camo, welcome. You, my friend, cannot produce milk, so we have to re-roll. You are a smart, hairy, energetic, uh, very active little pup with orange eyes, which is quite intriguing. We haven't ended up with orange eyes a lot, and now we have two sets of orange eyes. Very cool to see. And um, you didn't really end up gold, my friend. 
Are we going to get a gold wolf? Lily, we might have to have another litter with you in the future, who knows with whom, in order to see that gold wolf genetics be carried through. But let me grab the next name. And now we have got, are you guys ready for this? Dun 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 dun! <gasps> Demonize! Why could I not get through one litter of these animals without the demonize showing up? <sighs> well, that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes they have ended up being some of the most enchanting, somewhat eerie, and somewhat fantastic animals. Ah, uh, but no, 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 no peeking, no peeking, no peeking, no peeking. That was an accident. I was trying to change the gender because we rolled for Kiki. So Kiki, welcome, welcome. I changed the gender, by the way, you guys, to basically match my guess of whatever the person who leaves the comments are. But I could just start leaving it as it is. Let me know what you think. All right, you cannot produce wool, Kiki, or milk. But you can be a jumpy couch potato who's a glutton. That sounds adorable. But all right, my friends. One large wolf, one small sheep mixed together with their golden coloring. We didn't end up with a single golden wolf from Lily. So we might have to go searching for the golden puppy in the future. But let me know what you guys think. Are we going to end up with how many? Like, put your guesses down below now. We have six animals. Who is going to be big? Who's going to be small? Are we going to have a corgi? Or not a corgi. Are we going to have a wolf? Uh, sheeb. Like a sheeb colored wolf. I really, that's what I'm crossing my paws for right now. But all right, Giovanni. Oh, oh. <gasps> I love the little tips to the ears there. Oh, you guys. I, I always, when they're puppies, like, like poor Kiki over here, whenever they're puppies, I'm always kind of like, huh. But whenever they grow up and those beautiful little tips on the ears there show up, it's just so beautiful. Giovanni, you decided to go classic wolf and it looks just stunning. I actually don't see any of the sheep parenting in there at all. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty color. And then we have a little Tucker. Let's go ahead and see what you grew up into being. Oh, oh. <gasps> I didn't think Tucker was going to be it. I didn't think Tucker was going to be it, but Tucker was it, you guys. Look at that. We start with small pup and then we end up with a wolf sheep. We have done it. My dreams are realized. We have made a sheep wolf and this uh, she wolf, I'm not sure what to call it. Oh, I need your guys' name, like help coming up with a great name for this, but I really, really, really love him. Oh my gosh, Tucker, you are awesome. Let's see if little Karma is going to follow up with some of these looks. Yes, we have a Shiba Wolf back. I am so happy right now. I am so happy right now. This is fantastic. We are gonna end up, I mean, look at her eyes. I, I don't even know. I just feel like their dad, and he, actually so far it's all big wolves. I feel like their dad would just be running around their heels, like barking proudly uh, as they sort of like carefully step over him. He is the most aggressive of them all. Let's go ahead and see what Vanessa, with her really adorable little eyes, uh, are is going to grow up into. Oh, we've done it. Another sheep wolf. We have an entire pack of more or less, well, half the pack is now sheep wolves. And I did not know I needed she wolves in my life, but I did. And they're just, they're just wonderful. All right, Camo here. Camo, Camo, however you want to pronounce it, is actually our wild card, the one who looks the least like the others. What are you going to grow up to be, my friend? Big boy, <gasps> with the tiny face. Why is that? He's so precious. There is something about his face that reminds me of a Reese's piece. Why is it when the dogs are really cute, it reminds me of Reese's pieces? I'm vegan. I haven't had those in like almost 10 years now. Oh my gosh. Like, but something about him reminds me of a Reese's piece and I absolutely love it. Look at him. I love the uniqueness and the originality that his face has compared to the others actually. And then finally, let's go ahead and see what Cakey a demon wolf. 
because it would be our random laboratory challenge, mixing animals that perhaps should not be mixed together, if we didn't end up with at least one demon-eyed creature in the batch. But that's okay. Sometimes science goes too far and there are repercussions. But right, my friends, I'm really happy with this, actually. I really wanted, like, a golden wolf like Lily, but maybe we can actually save her golden coloring for a future crossbreed. If you guys have some fun ideas over who would be fun to crossbreed with her in order to see more of these lovely results, do let me know. But I'm really happy with our Shawolfs. Uh, like, I'm really happy with our Shawolfs. They're especially, especially like Karma and Tucker with their little twirly tails. They're really adorable. And then something about Vanessa. Oh, it's the face. Vanessa has just a little bit of her dad's face too. That was a fun mix. That was a fun mix and it did go to show that there actually was a much larger difference between our lovely Lily and a little Sheeb than I thought there would be. So alright my friends, if you could, do please leave a like to help me toss some treats to our new Shawolfs. If you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye